Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting application of circle detection using Hopf transformation. Okay. So already in my previous video, I have explained in detail about the theoretical and mathematical intuition and how to do uh, the programming for finding circles present in an image in MATLAB. Right. So that prerequisite is surely going to help you to understand this particular use case of circle detection using pop transformation okay so let us see the image first so i am reading one image tape.png which is present in matlab database itself so we now need to import from external world okay and this is nothing but image of a roll of tape okay and we can easily understand from our human visualization that this is nothing but forming a circular shape now suppose we have to calculate the radius of this particular roll of tape. Okay, what is the radius of this tape? Right, that is the problem statement. Now what are the challenges? The biggest challenge is this particular tape, this circle is partially visible. So let us try to apply our Hopf transformation technique for circle detection and let's try to understand whether it is able to detect the circle or not. And from that, we'll try to calculate the radius. Okay, right? I hope you have got the problem statement. So, I will suggest you to pause my video here and make an attempt, okay, based on the concepts, whatever I have discussed earlier, and then check what I am doing, okay? Like this, so you can have a practice along with understanding the concepts, okay? So, both the things will go parallel. So, what is this step one? We are having one image. First, we need to understand the approximate radius okay so that we can use a particular range and that can be useful for detecting the circle using Hopf transformation okay basically we are giving some hint to that algorithm by specifying the range right so for that what we can do d equal to im dist line okay so it will give us the distance between two points okay so i will just execute this particular line all this i have discussed earlier so you just keep an eye on this uh, in, on this command uh, window so to ensure that no error you are getting so as that is successfully executed you can see here in where one line is coming and it is showing the distance okay so let us try to put this particular point somewhere at the center approximately based on our visual inspection maybe this can be one centered okay and let's put this one okay other point on the top of our perimeter okay so approximately it is coming as 73 you can make a rotation along the perimeter okay so it is coming within 70 like that range okay 71 something okay so what we can do, maybe we can put a specification that 65 to 80, okay, we, we, we can choose that this is a range, right. So what are the output parameters? The output parameters are centers and radius, right. We have to calculate the radius of this particular roll of tape. So the function is im find circle. Right, circles. I am find circles. See, if I am writing little bit, MATLAB is suggesting us we can just click on tab and that's it. Okay. Then we have to the first parameter will be our image which is stored in X variable, and then next step will be our here the approximate range of the radius we have specified. Then here object polarity we have to specify. See, object polarity is coming here. So our circle is brighter than the background, right? So, object polarity will be bright. If the circle which you have to detect is darker than the background, then instead of bright, we have to put dark. Okay, right? That's it. So, this is what about the code. And then we can maybe put in a new figure window and we can show the image. And if the circle is detected, we can plot that using hold on and these circles we can use in build function, which I already discussed. These circles. We can pass the centers, okay, centers, radius, okay, radius and uh, 
maybe edge color bottom cotton with the edge color we want maybe suppose blue color we want to give okay edge color edge color as blue okay that's it so let's try to run this particular piece of code and let's check whether the circle it is able to detect or not with radius estimation okay so it is a new figure window uh, it is not visible okay let me do one thing let me give the line width so that if it is visible then it will come as a thick boundary okay let me close this figure window and let's run this okay evaluate selection make an keep an eye on the command window also so no it is not detected so if it is not detected no need to worry what we can do we can increase the sensitivity okay by default the sensitivity is i guess 0 0.85 let us make it 0 0.9 okay and have an attempt so let's run this particular piece of code right it is not yet detected let us increase the sensitivity a little bit more maybe 0 0.95 and let us run the whole code once. So it is running it. Object polarity bright 65 to 80. Mm. Sensitivity 0 0.95. Okay. Okay, it is actually showing here, right? So um, maybe we can. Okay, it is detected already. Good thing is that let me put one more figure in the here. Let's run this. Okay, super. So see. How beautifully it is detecting the circle and according to our visual inspection we can understand that this is the proper estimation uh, of the circle that is roll of tape right although it is visible partially but it is making a proper form right so we can get the radius information from here as it is detecting properly let us put the radius and the estimated radius for the roll of tape is our let us get the value in the comment window taking some time 77.4945 okay so this is the estimated radius so what is the use case see ideally with only this particular partially visible circle it is very hard to estimate the radius right but see by, change, by changing certain parameters and uh, playing around the hop transformation circle detection technique that is im fine circles how beautifully we are able to get the idea about the radius of the partially visible roll of tape. Okay, maybe this uh, this is not exactly the use case which might be required in your project, but this is just I wanted to show you so that you will have a clear idea how to play with this IEM find circles function. And if you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now, and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos. Thank you.